Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here or just stopping by, hello, my name is Jennifer. I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed. We are doing a giveaway at 400 subscribers and we are really freaking close. So just saying, you could win some stuff. So um, today I wanted to do an updated brow routine. I've changed how I've been doing my eyebrows quite a bit. So let's do this. I'm actually like already in my scrubs ready to go to work. And I've already done all of my makeup except for my eyebrows. And they're looking a little weird. My whole face is. So, when I go to work, I don't do anything crazy on my eyes. I have mascara, like, I have a dot under here. I have a dot over here. We're going to fix it in a minute. But, let's get into it. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you like it while you're watching. And... Let's do this. So the first thing I go in with is a brow pencil. My favorite here lately has been the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil and I use mine in the shade Medium Brown. When my hair was lighter and when it was red I used this in taupe for the most part um, and they have three shades in this and now I believe Wet n Wild has even released one of the micro brow pencils where it's not a chisel tip but I, I like the chisel tip. I don't have a lot of eyebrows, so I have to, I have to uh, add a lot, and the chisel tip helps. So I'm just going to quickly, I just do one straight line on the bottom, one for the most part straight line on the top. I add to my arch and I extend my eyebrow out because they're not even, I know you can tell that. So I'm going to speed through that part so you can see it, but that is the gist of what I'm doing. So once I have pretty much the outline of where I'm wanting everything, I just go in and lightly fill in, especially the front part where there is zero hair. <laughs> And then to finish off this first step, I just take the spoolie again and go back over it. Already looking a ton better. So then I go in with the Rimmel Brow This Way Eyebrow Kit. I use mine in the shade Medium Brown. Clearly I use the powder side more than the gel side. And I'm going to take this little tiny eyebrow brush from Morphe. Ulta makes one, Elf makes one, pretty much anybody that makes brushes makes one of these situations. Spoolie on one end and an angled brush on the other. I'm going to take the brush side and dip it down into the brow powder. And all I'm going to do is run over my brow completely just to warm it up a little bit because this is a lighter shade than what the pencil is that I use. And then... It kind of warms it up and it fills in any gaps I might have missed with the pencil and then I just kind of go on the end of my brow and zhuzh it back and forth. Beautiful. And the last thing I do is I take a fiber brow gel. This is from Believe Beauty. I believe this is the Dollar General brand. Mine is in the shade Dark Brown. It is imperative <laughs> that I do this part so it looks like I actually have some eyebrow hairs. Wow, I might have just fucked up my whole eyebrow. Show sure enough, I did. So I just go through and set it all, and today I kind of fudged up there at the top. I'm going to let that dry so I can wipe it off easier, and in the meantime, I'm going to do my other eyebrow.
So now that my brows are done for the most part, I'm going to <laughs> clean up right here and I'm gonna cut this out so because I'm probably gonna fuck up my entire face. The last thing we do for my eyebrows is highlight a little bit. This is by City Chic. This is Skinny Latte. Fairly certain this is just some eyeshadow, but it's whatever. So I'm gonna go all the way underneath. And I might highlight a little bit where I tried to use fix that then I just kind of step back and look at my eyebrows and I'm gonna try to darken this end right here and that's pretty much it that's how I do my brows um it's really not that serious but a lot of people do ask me quite frequently how I do my eyebrows because Especially after they see me without my eyebrows on and then they see me again with my eyebrows on um, a lot of people ask me how I do that um, The main thing to remember when you're Sorry, I thought I had lipstick in my teeth The main thing to remember when you're trying to do your eyebrows is that they are not meant to be identical It is very rare that someone's face is completely symmetrical. Your eyebrows do not have to be completely even the little stencil things uh, I know got really popular in like the brow stamp. Those have never worked for me. My face is not symmetrical. My eyebrows do not have to be completely even. I just try to get them pretty similar. Um, similar shape, similar length, and really the only thing I ever have to do is extend it out. And for the most part after that, I pretty much follow my own shape. I just add some into my arch to make my arch a little more apparent. I don't know what's going on with my hair, but I've got to get off of here and go to work. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this is kind of a lame speed tutorial, but this week we will be coming back with my regular videos and I am so sorry I missed last Friday. It's just been really freaking hectic um, in my life. I'm working full time again, applying to the nursing program, going to school. The coronavirus has derailed my life because I work in healthcare. I have a one year old and all of my school has been canceled. Everyone is like self quarantined except for me and my mom because she's a nurse and I'm a CNA. My brother's a paramedic. So it's just, it's, it's kind of derailing my life. But we will be back this week with regular videos and I am so sorry I've been missing uploads, but I'm making it a priority to get my shit back together and especially now that my class has been moved online for the next two weeks that's gonna give me a lot more flexibility on fil ow, on filming so i'm going to hop off of here and i will see you all in my next video bye guys